Yo, bingers, welcome back. Thanks for clicking. It's November, and that means it's War Comics. And man, wow, we're already into November pretty good, but it seemed like Halloween just happened, so I figured this'll work. So for today, we're going to check out from 1980, Weird War Tales, 1989. Oh, I forgot to mention, because we're doing War Comics, today we got joining us Chuck the Grenade is joining us today, and if you happen to be here in an it's raining outside if you hear that noise, but that's okay because as you know, it doesn't rain in the army, it rains on the army. And uh, you had a chance to check out this cover, if you haven't noticed it, this is Jim Starlin. And then this is interesting, when you go into this first page right here, this is a splash page by Romeo Tangle, who went on to do New, New Teen Titans. But this doesn't introduce necessarily any particular story. It's more of an uh, introduction to this series in general. So if this is your first copy of Weird War Tales, you, you, you get you filled in right off the bat. So here we go. Across the ages, only one thing is ever present. The unexplained. Isn't that another book? No, that's the unexpected. There are always events beyond human understanding, and many of them are in the midst of man's greatest struggles. Weird War Tales. Centuries pass. The art of war changes. Battlements that once proudly guarded nations' borders collapse into dust. All things change, growing weaker with age. Save my power, the power of death. Draw close, dear reader, and see the handiwork I have crafted in war after war after war. And check out all the great art in here, all the different things he's got going on there. Just a reason to draw a skeleton and, and stuff. Dun, 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 dun. Cool. Alright, and now we're gonna get into our main story here. Oh, I, I forgot to mention, look, you know, we got apes on the cover. You can never have enough apes, right? We know the whole history of apes in comics. Or gorillas, or whatever they are. But here we go. And it is here it says the primate platoon, but you'll, you'll find out as we go into here. Deep into untamed Africa, a small German convoy carries a group of American prisoners. What do the Krauts want with us if way out here? Beats me. We're nowhere near any combat zone. I doubt if this area's even been charted. The foliage is too thick for aerial photos. We're stopping. I think maybe we reached our... Business. Dismount. Oh my god! Forever seeking ways to improve their slaughtering capacity, civilized men sacrifice lower animals with impunity. Horses, dogs, even porpoises have been drafted into combat, but no cluster of beasts could possibly match the ghastly primate patrol. Dun, 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 dun. And here we're going to do credits. Writer George Cashdan, the artists are Ken Landgraf and Dave Simmons. Letterer Albert de Guzman, colorist Adrian Roy, hey yo Adrian, and editor Paul Levitz. And there we go. Form single line. I'll zoom out a little bit so you can enjoy this whole panel here. Form single line. <laughs> it's a trick, right guys? Or, or maybe the Germans slipped us some kind of new, new kind of cuckoo drug. Naturally, the gorillas are, are actors wearing costumes. Prisoners, march. Forget it. These babies are real. R real? How is it possible? Then into a clearing, the odd captives soon learned the bizarre answer. Welcome, Americanos. You have been chosen for a most remarkable test. Let me explain. Some months ago, these remarkable grills were discovered by a crash-landed plane crew. Scientists were sent to investigate. The animal's exceptional intelligence. It was concluded that they were mutations. Something in the soil, or perhaps the climate here, has caused their brains to evolve most highly. As military leaders were swift to see the value in these beasts. Round up every one of them you can find. We shall put them to work for the Third Reich. So far below human intelligence is that they could learn simple tasks by imitation. It was found too that they could be taught to speak. And it's interesting because they're teaching them the English word for banana here. Banana in German ends with an E. 
for slow learners with, with the five special cures. No food for this one, not until he responds to commands. There was swift justice for the most stubborn of them. Pa 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 pa! Once they accepted our mastery, we trained them for their final tasks as gods and used Americanas to be the subjects of the first trial. Under the baleful gaze of their weird warders, the prisoners begin a ruling dong to dusk work schedule. I don't get it, Jake. Why'd the crowds go to all this trouble to train gorillas? If this test run works out, Willie, they'll probably raise a whole army of intelligent apes. Think of the possibilities. Gorilla guards, gorilla workers, even gorilla medics. Do you realize how many soldiers that could free for combat? I... <laughs> I, oh, they did make that movie. It's Planet of the Apes. Okay, never mind. My aching back. There must be some way we can find, pa we can panic the apes and make a break for it. No, Willie. Not while those sentries, human sentries are watching us. But remember what the Commandant said. The gorillas learned by imitating. That could be our key to escape. Slowly, painfully, the wearying days stretch into weeks of silent, surreptitious communication. Till finally, one night, a frantic cry resounds through the camp. Octon, the girls are going wild! Himu, what came over them? Who the cares? Shoot them down! Check out this panel right here. Soon. As the last death rattles echo into nothingness. Prisoners, go. We take care of dead. Long afterward, in an army field hospital. Frankly, if so many of you hadn't reported the same story, I say you're insane, soldier. But how were you able to turn the gorillas against their captors? By using the intelligence and their instinct to imitate. With sketches like this one, we showed them how to operate the weapons, and the rest was up to them. Those marvelous primates were never found again. Having learned the human's superior capacity for bloodshed, they no doubt chose to go deeper into hiding. Dun 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 dun! What'd you guys think? Any reason to have apes or gorillas fight Nazis? Or as Nazis, or whatever like that. I thought that was beauty. Oh, and we're here we'll do a bonus real quick. Batman in Catman on the prowl. Something tells me my old enemy, the Catman, is on the prowl tonight. Probably you read that right there. Or it's the cats attacking him. I don't know. I don't know what Catman sounds like. Like you, Batman. My cats and I prefer the darkness. But I... Fear you won't come away from this encounter unscratched. Okay, that makes more sense when you read the whole thing. Let's see if I could do Casey Kasem. Uh-oh, Batman's already got his hands full, and Catman can can learn let more man-eaters loose at any time. A cataclysmic situation. Catman, here's something that will appeal to your love of darkness. So call off your cats. Hostess cupcakes. <laughs> Deep dark chocolatey cake, deep dark chocolatey icing, cream to filling too. Smart move, Robin, using Catman's love of darkness to set his mind off me. I think he'll be going to the dogs, I mean jail, from now on. You get a big delight in every bite of Hostess Cupcakes. There you go, kids. This is a, look at that beauty art right there. Oh, one more thing I wanted to show you in here. You got... OJ in here, no comment, is going to say OJ was really popular in 1980 because not only do you got this ad for cleats here, I'm giving you a moment to like, you could pause and read that here, but we also got, you might have peeked at it right here on this cover page. There we go. The Dingo Kids meet OJ Simpson. It's OJ Simpson's break off tackle. He's at the 40, the 30, he's going all the way, it's a touchdown! Later in the rocker room, 
Wow, O.J. Simpson, let's get his autograph. Oh, a superstar like that? He wouldn't notice us. It actually says him wouldn't notice us. What does the juice sound like? I would love to. Hey, with those dingo boots, you guys look like superstars. O.J., how did you know we were wearing dingoes? Man, it's easy. Nobody puts leather together like dingo. I wear dingoes myself. You wear dingoes, O.J.? Sure, I've got to put something special on my feet after a great game. Hey, O.J., how about an autograph? F for the dingo kids? You bet. Kids, get your free autograph photo of me, O.J. Mail to O.J. Dingo, P.O. Box 749, Clarksville, Tennessee, 37040. All right, everybody. You know the drill. I don't say any of that YouTube stuff. You do what you want to do. Thanks for hanging out. And until next time. Oh, Chuck, what did you think of the... Did you like it? Okay, Chuck, Chuck the Grenade liked the book. Beauty. All right, everybody. Comment down below as you see fit. And until next time, I'll see you in the back issues.